Shut up and sit down. Greetings, fellow Earth travelers. Oblix here, and today I want to take just a second to talk to you about the Nautis Global Dive GMT. This is our Watch Gang Black Tier subscription for the month of March. So, again, Watch Gang Black Tier is a $99 subscription. It's a blind subscription service. You get what you get. You have no clue what they're shipping. And they say the value their watch is between $150 and $500. So let's take a closer look at this Global Dive GMT. You can, I will put a link to the unboxing of this guy in the down yonder. If you haven't checked it out, feel free to do so. And quick second, if you guys in, are enjoying the content, do me a favor, show some dap on that subscribe button. I certainly would appreciate it. If you've already subscribed, pop that like button so I know that you're enjoying the content so we can keep this moving forward. So the Nautis Global Dive, pop this bad boy open. Pretty uh, uninspiring box, gotta say. Um, you know, bog standard basic type stuff here. Get this out of the way. And size for my seven inch wrist, you do get quite a bit of generous extra link linkage there to be used uh, probably what about an inch and a half or so extra link uh, I do have a seven inch wrist so that's quite a bit uh, of extra and that's that's pretty darn generous of Nautis uh, to give you that so you guys with larger wrist there you go Nautis might be an option for you so there we go the Nautis Global Dive GMT in all of its glory uh, let me get you guys zoomed in and we'll take a closer look. Alright, down we go and here it is. Up close and personal. Now this is the blue variant. I believe this guy came in six different colors if I'm not mistaken. Could be wrong on that. I'm taking a guess off the top of my head. I did look at their site and I think it was six. And then you could also get those same six colors with a rubber strap instead of the stainless steel. So this particular one is model 18093G-F. Ugh, long, boring name. Anyway, we've got the date complication down here at the 4 o'clock. You see that orange GMT hand jutting off to the side. We've got the longer uh, minute with two segments and the shorter hour with two segments as well. We've got a second hand ticking away and as you can see it is in fact ticking so this guy is a quartz watch and we've got that GMT bezel around the edge as you would expect with some clever utilization we can use this guy to monitor four or three different time zones so you can tell one on the standard time you can tell one with the GMT hand and one with the bezel as well so you can track three different time zones. Take a look at its side. We do see a helium escape valve and some decent brushwork. Uh, straight brush down. Not a lot of polish to this guy at all. It's pretty much brushed everywhere. We do have that four o'clock crown. I do actually like having a four o'clock crown. Um, reminiscent of our Heritor Morrison, which was our first watch gang watch. Now you see this guy is a thick puppy. He is chunky in the thickness. Uh, we'll take a look at that on the calipers here in a minute. Again, this guy's sized from a 7-inch wrist. Uh, it does come with quite a bit more links. So we've got a milled clasp, which is nice to see at this price point. Uh, it is branded on the top tang as opposed to the fold-over. Uh, pretty nice clasp. Solid links and solid in links as well. Very nice to see. Uh, screw down case back. You a better look at that back there. Let's check the ratcheting on the bezel. And it's got a nice 120 tick. Minimal play back there is a tiny bit, but it is not bad. You can see just a, a scoosh there, but it is not bad at all. Well within reason. A good solid clicks. Not the best I've seen, obviously, but definitely 
uh, within the realm of you know very adequate for day-to-day -day use. Uh, Cyclops Eye. You guys know I hate them. Uh, this one's not put on terrible. It is off-centered uh, slightly this way. Uh, because it's down here at the 4 o'clock, it, it is twisted. So if I hold it straight, uh, hopefully that shows it's actually offset this way a little bit. Uh, again, I wish, guys, the manufacturers would not put these on these watches because they never get them right. Uh, these lower-end manufacturers just cannot put a Cyclops eye on to save their life. So why bother? Why waste your time and effort? Why make us look at something that's not on straight and just annoy us? Just don't put the dumb things. They're not necessary. Um, so taking a look at the indices, we've got applied indices. We've got arrows at the uh, 396, a double arrow at the 12. And then we've got circular pips all the rest of the way around. Uh, we've got a minute index all the way out at the outer ring with Arabics at the fives. Pretty nice looking dial. It's actually a textured dial, uh, lightly textured. Hopefully the camera's picking that up. It's always hard to see through the viewfinder to see if it's picking it up adequately. I don't ever see it until I post-process these videos, but hopefully that's showing. Uh, we've got Nautis and Global Dive painted on the uh, dial itself. Crown is not branded, just more brushwork because brushing's everywhere. It is a screw down crown. Feels very reasonable. It doesn't uh, feel overly gritty or gross. Um, it is a little bit hard to get screwed back in, but that's just the way these crown guards are sticking out. Uh, in the way I tend to hold it. I don't think that would be a problem for everybody. It's just how I tend to grab it. First, I have to remind myself that, oh, I need to grab it this way instead. Uh, we are running a Swiss Ronda 515 GMT inside this bad boy, so it is a Swiss movement. Uh, hard to go wrong with a Ronda, so for a quartz watch, we're going to be just fine. Nice smooth movement of the hands, and you will see that GMT follows along with our hands, which is nice. Of course, I'm messing up my time settings here, but that's okay. Uh, let's get well out of the danger zone. And we'll go back into the first click, and I will show you that rotating downwards moves that GMT hand by itself. So you can set it to track whatever time zone you wish it to track. And then, of course, rotating it up switches the date as such. So pretty nice, definitely uh, functional in terms of date or time tracking in different time zones. Very useful for that regard. Uh, you can go diving with this guy. It does have, like I said, that helium escape valve, which to be fair is really not terribly necessary uh, for most of us. Most of us won't be going deep enough that that becomes an issue. Um, but you know, hey, it's nice to see it at this price point for sure. Uh, it is fifty. The ATM water resistant, so you definitely can take this down quite a bit. Now, no sapphire, so we got to give up something, right? Uh, and sapphire is going to be one of those. So it is a sapphire coated mineral crystal. I hate when they do that. Just put mineral crystal or put sapphire crystal. Don't try to give me the marketing ploy of sapphire coated mineral crystal. It's no stronger than mineral crystal in my day-to-day -day experience. It scratches just as easily and it's harder to poly watch it out. So I would rather just have the mineral. Uh, that You're more likely to get that buffed out than with that sapphire coating. Now there is uh, what appears to be a little bit of AR but you, know, you kinda get that blue hue. Uh, but it is not uh, by any means a heap and heap of, of it. Uh, now, as far as loom goes, it's pretty darn good. Uh, they do have Swiss Super Luminova. All the pips, all the arrows, as well as, of course, the hands, including the GMT. Now, the second hand is not loomed. It's the only hand not loomed. All the others are, as well as the bezel is loomed. Now, one thing I don't like, and this is just a me styling thing. Some guys may actually like this. Some guys may not. I'm not going to knock them for this. It's just my personal aesthetic. Remember, this is a blind subscription service. You get what they give you. I'm not a big fan of the fact that there's white loom inside on the dial on the 
uh, applied indices as well as the hands, and more of this antiqued loom around the outside. This, see this kind of yellowish greenish loom around the outside? I don't like the color differentiation. Um, again, some guys might. You know, it's a personal preference, personal taste thing. It's just I don't prefer this. I would rather see, you know, pick one. All, you know, all the antiqued or all the white. Go one way or the other. Uh, that's my preference. But again, all in all, not a bad little piece. Let's pop it on the wrist. Now, quick wrist check. So, quick, quick wrist check. I am wearing that Spinnaker Croft, which was our last month's Watch Gang watch subscription. Loving this piece. Uh, the leather is a little bit thick, but it does feel good on the wrist and looks great. I really enjoy looking down and seeing this guy on my wrist. Uh, but again, that thick leather does make it a little bit challenging to put it on and off. So let's get the Nautis on. And there we go. Again, on my 7-inch wrist, it is a wrist filler for sure. Uh, you guys with smaller wrists, you may want to be careful of that because the width here, which we'll put it on the calipers in a minute, is quite quite a bit, as well as the height is you know, it is quite, quite tall. So if you got smaller wrist, it's definitely going to dwarf your wrist and look like you clap something huge on top of there. Um, but my 7-inch wrist, eh, it works out okay. Again, a little bit taller than I would like. It's going to be hard to fit, uh, a little bit tougher to fit, say, under a, a suit cuff. You know, if you guys are wearing suits and trying to wear it as a work watch, uh, you can definitely get something a little bit slimmer. Um, more along the lines of this, say, this Aqua Sea Diver, quite a bit slimmer. So, one knock I will give this guy is its weight. It is a chunky monkey for sure. So, let's pop this on, take a look at the grams. 195 grams. That is a beast. And 6.8 ounces. It's heavy, guys. At the end of the day, you will notice that it is on your wrist, you know, after you've worn it all day. And again, a lot of stainless steel in here, but it is very thick, so that definitely adds up. Now let's get the calipers out and take a look at it. Get them zeroed out here. So, because of the where this lug is, it's a little bit challenging to go straight across, but I'm going to do it up here. And we're going to go 44 across with the crown you're looking at about a 46 lug to lug always the hardest one for me to measure is about a 52 and here's the one without that cyclops eye you are looking at a beastly 15 so it is a thick puppy and we're looking at about a 22 on the lugs so you can replace the uh, if you don't like this bracelet or the rubber one if you get the the rubber one you can replace it with anything with a 22 so again definitely not sapphire we don't need to bring out the tester because we're sure that's not sapphire they say so on the website so what would I use this for this is definitely a good uh, you know, hanging out with the family on the weekends at the swimming pool, going to the beach type of watch. Uh, again, very capable in the water. The stainless steel is going to make it, uh, you know, easy to wear, not get trashed. You want to clean out the links if you're dealing with sand and salt and whatnot, uh, as as you would. You may get a little bit under the uh, bezel, which may make it a little bit grittier over time, if you're especially if you're in sand. Uh, but if you're just swimming around at the pool, you should be fine going to be a little challenging to wear as a work watch uh, unless you wear short sleeves um, you know, if you are one who has to wear long sleeves and you like them to be tailored appropriately uh, because of the thickness it's going to be hard to get under those sleeves if you wear very loose sleeves you'll be okay you know sweatshirts and things like that uh, you'll be fine now that with the loom on it you can definitely take this piece out at night it does have excellent loom 
uh, very bright and easy to read and it does last a good amount of time. So do I think this guy is worth the 99 bucks I paid for it? Uh, through the Watch Gang, remember this was our Watch Gang black tier subscription for March. Uh, yeah, I think this is a $99 watch. It's definitely uh, a reasonable value at $99. Not a huge fan of the quartz uh, at this price point. I really want to start seeing automatics. I'm okay with it if it brings meaning to it. For example, uh, a really nice chronograph like the Mecha Quartz Melbourne we had, Melbourne Hawthorne that we got back in January. Um, I mean, that was Mecha Quartz and it's a really nice piece, so I, Quartz is fine in that arena. I think this could have easily been uh, an automatic at this price point and been you know, pretty realistic. Uh, I would like to see some sapphire on this guy, and I would definitely like to see that Cyclops eye removed, or at the very least, if you've if you got to put it on there, put it on there straight. But again, I haven't yet to see a manufacturer at this price point put it on straight. I'm sure there's one out there, but I've not been privy to one thus far. And I have hundreds of watches in my collection. So, uh, Other than that, if you, with a Swiss Ronda 515, there is no reason this, can't, this case can't be slimmed down. Those are very slim movements. They're very tiny. Uh, this case can absolutely be slimmed down quite a bit. There's a lot of gap between the uh, dial and the crystal. So there's definitely some room in there you could shrink this bad boy. I think that would help it, uh, you know, get it more in lines with, say, this Aquacy. If you look at the thickness between these two, you know, there's just no comparison. The Aquacy is so much slimmer. And this, I mean, this is a full automatic movement, so it's quite a bit uh, chunkier of a movement versus this Quartz. Both have helium escape valves, so that's not a good excuse. Um, you know, it's just, I think you can do a lot more to, to trim this down and make it more usable on an everyday basis for those guys that do like to wear a dive watch to work and have to wear a suit uh, or a long sleeve shirt. But overall, I am pretty happy with this Nordis Global Dive. Uh, I do think the name, it just does not roll off the tongue. Uh, you want to call it a Global Diver yet it is a global dive and that for some reason is just hard to say so maybe put an R on the end of that uh, just for our American mouths that want to roll that R out there and call it a global diver but hey you know that can you, that's one of those you can leave it or take it kind of things but that's gonna do it for this Nautis global dive our watch gang black tier subscription for the month of March I sure do appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me as always, and until next time, you guys get out there, make some noise. See ya.